Hello everyone. I wanted to do a video like this for a while now, so here it is. My goal is to give me five minutes to come up with a patch from scratch. And I will try to talk you through what I'm doing uh, while I'm doing it. And after five minutes, uh, we will see where I got and if it's something usable. So I'll push start on my timer and off we go. First off, I'm of course going to connect my output of the mixer to my recorder so that we can hear something. And then next up, I'm gonna switch the IntelliJ Dixie VCO to LFO mode and use its square wave output as a clock. I will multiply that so that I can use it more than once. And um, the first thing I'm gonna do with it is I'm gonna patch it into the clock input of the Turing machine random looping sequencer, which will give me random CV sequences as well as random pulses. And I'm going to use the random CV sequences um, to play uh, my oscillators and to do that musically I will patch it into my microscale quantizer and from the microscale I will multiply the output again so that I can use it for more than one VCO. The first one being the anti-oscillator and the second one being the Klangbau wavetable digital uh, oscillator and in order to hear those I of course have to patch them into the mixer. I'm going to take the mayhem output of the anti-oscillator, turn it down and I'm going to take the main oscillator from the wavetable oscillator and patch it into mixer input 2 and now I'm going to tune them both and they're already ready sounds all right let's see okay let's turn it down again uh, right now we're just hearing a C note because the intelligent microscale quantizes everything to a C. So let's add some notes like C, D, E and an F. And currently it's going very slow because the um, Dixie VCO is very slow. Okay, let's turn it up again. Um, see what other wavetables we have. Okay. Let's take that as a bass sound and um, I'm gonna patch the sub oscillator of the DCO. Yeah in there and choose a different wavetable and then patch the output of the mixer into the um, input of the Erica Polyvox uh, filter and from there I will patch it into the echo delay and from there I'm going to patch it back into my recorder and don't have that much time left. Wow, that five minutes go really fast. So let's take some LFOs from square of LFOs from the make noise function um, and modulate the filter cutoff frequency. Okay, and yeah, that already sounds all right. And let's take another LFO to modulate the wavetables of the DCO. I'm using the Quadra from IntelliGel in its VCO mode and uh, its LFO mode. 
from the Synthrotech Echo, which aliases a lot at low rates. And that's already my timer after five very short minutes. I've come up with this. So um, let's just play around a little bit. sequence in the Turing machine and switch it to eight steps so that we have a repeating loop. delay again. Really slow. Yeah, there's a point where the noise starts. that much when the function LFOs go high and increase the resonance a little bit and maybe slow it slow one of the functions down and then decrease the mix of the echo so that we get less of the noise in there yeah now we can um, switch the Turing machine to random sequence again and have it play uh, random patterns. And this is with a little bit of exponential frequency modulation on the anti-oscillator. And um, I think I'm actually going to leave it at that. Those five minutes went by really fast, at least for me. I hope uh, it wasn't too long for you. If you have any questions, go ahead and post them underneath this video in the comments. And if you want to, I'll try this again. And maybe without the time limit or I don't know. We'll see about that. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. And have fun with your modular or planning your modular or with your students in general. All right, see you soon.